Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I, the other day I ran out of my coffee. Now, my wife made the ultimate mistake, and um, it's not her fault. She's not a coffee drinker, but she went and bought the coffee at the grocery store that's on sale. Normally, the coffee that's on sale cannot even wake me up in the morning, and that's why it's on sale. And so... Uh, my coffee does, just doesn't have that kick to it, but never fear. I am still wide awake and ready to roll. I might have to put a little extra cinnamon in this coffee because it just doesn't have doesn't have what I like. But anyway, let's move along. Okay, this this was sent to me from DS underscore XRP at LYRAD1964 sent me this and I thought this was a really good uh, article to kick it off today and this is from I believe it's from CCN yeah CCN why Nasdaq's Bitcoin index is a bigger deal than most people realize now I've talked about the uh, the index that they're doing if you can imagine uh, when you're watching a financial news show and they show the NASDAQ and you see the scrolling all the stock symbols and everything well you're about to see as we've predicted for the last few months um, complete adoption you're literally about to be wrapped in digital assets and one of those uh, ways that you're gonna be wrapped is you're gonna all of a sudden on the tickers not just at NASDAQ but it'll happen at the New York Stock Exchange as well and all other exchanges around the world is you are all of a sudden going to begin seeing on those tickers Bitcoin. It'll start with Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then XRP and all these all the the major digital assets will be everywhere you look. And so I wanted to read you just a little bit out of this what they said here. According to cryptocurrency analyst Alex, ooh, I'm going to butcher his last name, Zoop Zoopsinus. The introduction of crypto indices of NASDAQ could lead to the approval of a wide range of investment vehicles in the long term. The analyst said NASDAQ to add a Bitcoin index on its platform. They are reading the writing on the wall and don't want to get left behind. There is no stopping this. Adoption happens gradually right in front of you until you finally pause, look around, and Bitcoin is the dominant asset. This is big news. The launch of NASDAQ crypto indices could lead to regulatory approval for crypto-based derivatives in the market. And as direct initial effect could mean more interest from institutional traders. The feeds are going live on February 25th. It's Today's February 20th. So on February 25th, you're going to all of a sudden start seeing Bitcoin, and I believe they said Ethereum also, in their uh, ticker is the way I understand this. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to mention that to you. That's interesting, interesting, to interesting times we're moving into, folks. I want to give a shout out to James Malpass. He sent me this, at James Malpass 12. Bloomberg says, key indicator, bullish on Bitcoin. XRP hits Forex exchange, Tron imposter exposed. This is, a, this is an interesting uh, article here. I want to show you this too. This is from... Bloomberg, and I want to thank Bloomberg. Uh, now all of a sudden, Bloomberg has decided that they're going to throw out some positive news about crypto. Well, here is one of them. It says, um, "The this is from Bloomberg. The Vera convergence di uh, convergence divergence indicator turned positive today for the first time in over two months, indicating this rally may take Bitcoin over the heavily resisted four thousand dollar level." The last time Bitcoin triggered a buy signal, it gained $1,100 over the next 10 days, reports Bloomberg. And I wanted to show you that, but also kind of show you a couple of other things in this article. Retail, this is about XRP. Retail Forex broker Trader's Way says it just added XRP to its trading platform. Ripple payments available now. Trader's Way, a prime online Forex and CDF bro 
CFD broker is pleased to offer a one, one more payment option to its clients, Ripple, the new money transfer option. Traders Way offers a place to buy and sell foreign uh, currencies, a market currently valued at more than five trillion dollars. Trillion. Um, so anyway, and then finally, on this is having to do with Tron. I wanted to show you this. Um, the disc, uh, Tron. The Tron community is warning people to stay away from a website ending in .com designed to look like the real Tron scan. I wanted to show you all this because I've shown you Tron scan before where you can go and check on your Tron balance and your BTT balance. It's not Tron's, it's tronscan.com. That's a scam site. It's tronscan.org is the real site. So you've got to get, if, if you use Tronscan to store your TRX, make sure you're on tronscan.org, not tronscan.com. So I wanted to pass that along. All right, and this is from Sergeant OB1, crypto, and I, I just wanted to read what he said to you just, uh, one thing, just I want to illustrate a point. One thing that I see over and over and over on Twitter and in comments um, is that, oh, well, this crypto market's not going anywhere uh, until the volume picks up. Well, I know from experience, having been in several of these bull markets, um, the volume is not there, and then all of a sudden it is. And that, and and all of the, oh, the volume's just too low for anything that. All of those people on a dime, all of that changes. And all of those people will be saying, oh, now we have the volume. Well, it just happens just like that. And it'll happen the same way this time, except it'll probably happen faster. Um, from so Sergeant Obi one crypto markets continue climbing as Bitcoin and XRP transaction volume surge. So one day you have no volume. Next day, all of a sudden, boom, volume and markets follow. Okay. Uh, that'll happen in an instant when it happens, and it's already happening a little bit. Okay. Also, this is also from Sergeant Obi Wan. This is good. Finextra. Physical banks will become obsolete. Negative interest rates are a joke. Bail-ins are sure to follow. And this is exactly kind of what I've been telling you. And he sh and he sent, he uh, tweeted this article, which shows you that these central banks and government they still don't get it. These are the IMF, uh, this is about the IMF uh, economist. IMF Wonk suggests separate cash and e-money to enable negative interest rates. In other words, they still don't get it, folks. The, the, the central bankers and these, these, uh, these clowns that are sitting behind closed doors that are academics and aren't out here in the real world with those of us who have lost trust in all of this, they don't understand. We... We are just hardworking average people out here who don't want people to destroy our money. And these people, if, if you don't, if you, you want to see what destroying money looks like, negative interest rates, what a joke. In other words, they force us into a system where we have to go and have a bank account. And then they put in negative interest rates. So we literally have to pay them to have the bank account that they're forcing us to have. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. It says international money fund, monetary fund economists have floated the prospect of central banks creating two separate currencies, e-money and, and cash, as a way to en enable the negative interest rates that will likely be needed to combat the future recession. In other words, to com combat the future re recessions that are created by these monetary authorities, they're going to come out with two. They're, they're going to come out with two versions of their monopoly money, and what they don't understand is this genie's out of the bottle, folks. Digital assets are here, and you can create all the digital assets you want, but the only ones that the people are going to flow to are going to be the ones they trust, that you're not involved in, that Jamie Dimon's not involved in. Jamie Dimon may be able to control it while, it, while it's under his in his bank-walled garden. The IMF, they may be able to control it while it's inside of their walled garden, but this is a global world. And the genie's out of the bottle and is not going back in. And the genie is Bitcoin, XRP, any of these digital assets that are not controlled by these governments. I mean, th this is a no-brainer and they don't understand. You lost our trust. The digital asset investors' trust was finally lost in the financial crisis when I saw the bailouts. And then, they, then when they started to create 
lay the foundation for bail-ins? No. That is not capitalism. It is not free markets. That is people that are destroying common sense in finance. And it won't stand. That's why all these digital assets are here. Okay. So next, this is from XRP Veteran. And uh, uh, this is Mark Yusko from Morgan Creek Capital. And he makes the same kind of point that I just said. He's asked by Rand Nooner on, on his channel about um, JP Morgan coin. And Yusko just blasts it and says, this is not cryptocurrency. And then he also says something that I totally disagree with him on. He says, well, it's not going to be a Bitcoin killer, but it might be a Ripple uh, an XRP killer and this is one thing and I'm going to ask these guys because here's the, my position on Morgan Creek Capital I think I, I admire Anthony Pompliano and Mark Jessica I love what they're doing but for some reason they are anti XRP and I can't figure out why so I'm going to ask them on Twitter today I, I, I really love everything they say and everything they're doing and I think they're true leaders in this whole thing but they are just wrong on XRP. I, and that's the part of this I can't figure out. And I'm, so I'm just going to ask them. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to copy them on Twitter and I'm going to ask them today. Uh, but, and I'll show you in a, actually I'll, I'll go ahead and show you now. This, um, is their, this is their index fund, Morgan Creek digital assets, the digital asset index fund, an index fund built for the world's leading institutions. And I want to ask them why they don't have, but look at this. They've got all of these digital assets. They've even got Ethereum Classic that has undergone a 51% attack. And they've got it listed on here as being included in their fund. And they don't have XRP. I don't understand why these guys are so anti-XRP because they obviously are. If they weren't, you would hear them talk about it more. I mean, he just said in this video that I'm showing you, he said it might be a ripple killer. He obviously doesn't like XRP. And I want to know why. I don't understand. Uh, unless he just assumes that that uh, is a Bitcoin maximalist and just assumes that Ripple is no better than JP Morgan and that they're the same thing. But he knows full. He's a smart guy. He knows JP Morgan is tied to the dollar because that's what they represent. The, the dollar that's being destroyed over time. XRP does not represent that. XRP... There's a hundred billion. There won't be any more. And he knows that. And I don't understand. There's a big, huge difference between XRP and what JP Morgan and Jamie Dimon represent. And so I don't understand it, but they will be asked today by the digital asset investor. Next. Now this is from XRP, uh, XR pirate at XRP pirate underscore asked me if I would kind of lead this, uh, this charge. And I am glad to do it because I think it's interesting. Um, and what he's referring to is Elon Musk, and this was an XRP Crypto Wolf tweet. Elon Musk, uh, I'll just read this. Elon Musk said he likes cryptocurrency for its fluid ability to root around uh, trouble. It bypasses currency controls, and crypto is far better way to transfer value than pieces of paper. That's for sure, without a doubt. Elon should look into XRP. I agree. It says Elon Musk thinks paper money is going away and crypto will take its place. All right, I agree with Elon Musk, and so because XR Pirate asked me to do so, I'm going to see if we can get the attention of, um, you know what happened here, folks? I had, oh, there it is. I, I thought my tweet had uh, disappeared, but I'm going to see if we can get it, get it uh, ramped up here. Let's get this back up. Well, if I can type it right, R-I-P-P-L, here, let me see if I, have missed something here. R I P P L E. All right. What we're going to do says, hi, Elon Musk. I read that you believe crypto will take the place of paper money. I agree. Um, and then actually I'm going to attach a graphic to this that I can't do right this second. Uh, the, you'll see this tweet go out though, uh, in a few minutes, but, um, I said, I agree. D did you know that XRP consumes far less energy than Bitcoin and Ethereum? Here's a graphic you may find interesting. I'm going to attach that, but I don't want to attach it while I'm doing a video because it'll show everything on my computer. Um, so anyway, um, 
the uh, I'm going to tweet this out because Elon Musk, if you don't know, Elon Musk is a is a uh, he's a uh, an environmentalist, I believe. And so the fact that Bitcoin consumes so much energy and I know that the Bitcoin people are trying to co-opt Elon Musk. And so I'm going to try to head that off at the pass and see what we can get done here. Um, next, this is from XRP veteran. Let the trillions flow in. <laughs> All right. This is Wyoming is if any of you uh, people around the world or, or around the U.S. Uh, are government officials and you want to know how to run a government in a smart way, do what Wyoming lawmakers are doing. They've passed three bills to boost the state's crypto industry. And I wanted to read you a couple of um, things from this. This is a lesson in how to get business attracted to your state. With HB, whatever they call it, it's not required to have FDIC insurance in place. So that means they're not obligated to listen to certain federal government requirements. Blockchain type industries, gun industries, all sorts of industries down the line get discriminated against. So that's what we're targeting here. There's going to be an influx of, influx of financial services industry to the state of Wyoming, both from the special purpose depository institutions that we talked about today. These are the non-FDIC insured banks, as well as separately, there's going to be the, di the be digital asset custodians coming into the state of Wyoming. Take away, take the regulatory burdens off of companies and people and all of a sudden, you have true capitalism, folks. These governments that create all these bullcrap regulations and they say that they're trying to protect you. Yeah, right. They're trying to protect their coffers is what they're trying to protect. True freedom, true capitalism is what it looks like, and it's in Wyoming. So good for these guys. All right. Next, XRP Crypto Wolf, the Chamber of Digital Commerce. He's a... Uh, Tweeting this article out, the U.S. advocacy group calls for national plan on blockchain. I'm not going to read all of this, but the gist of this is that the Chamber of Digital Commerce is calling on the United States. Let's get something national, a national strategy, so we don't have all these different government agencies that are weighing in, but no standardization for blockchain. The Chamber of Digital Commerce, a, a blockchain adv advocacy group, called for the U.S. government to implement a national strategy for blockchain technology, using the government to promote and support the blockchain industry through clear and supportive public statements. Here, here. So I'm not going to read all that, but you get it. Next, I wanted to show you this. If you haven't seen this, this is interesting. Go watch it. This is from uh, CNBC Crypto Trader, okay? And um, he, interview, he interviews Mark Yusko from Morgan Creek Digital Capital uh, or Digital, I don't I can't remember if it's Capital, or, or, but anyway. And then he also interviews the most arrogant man in crypto, Craig Wright, who claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Craig Wright uh, got mad when he started asking him uh, about him proclaiming himself to be Satoshi Nakamoto because he's going to speak, I think, at the CFTC, and which is supposedly under oath. And the whole premise being, okay, well, so you're fixing to go under oath and proclaim yourself to be Satoshi Nakamoto. Well, I saw a tweet from C3 Nick, which I thought was hilarious. Dear Satoshi Nakamoto, please move a few Bitcoin to an exchange just for fun. What he's getting at here is that uh, there... Satoshi Nakamoto's wallet, my understanding of this for Bitcoin, is known. And see, this is there's two points here. This is kind of funny uh, from two perspectives. One, he's calling out people like Craig Wright here and saying, "Look, if you're if you're Satoshi Nakamoto, it's very easy for you to prove it. Move some, announce that you're going to move Bitcoin out of that wallet and where you're going to move it to, and then move a little bit of Bitcoin, and then it, you've proved it then because." Satoshi Nakamoto is the guy that controls that wallet, the guy who created Bitcoin. But the other thing about this that I find hilarious is that people like Mark Yusko, obviously they dislike XRP and Ripple, obviously because they consider it to be centralized versus Bitcoin. And one of the points that's always made about that, oh, um, the people at Ripple, they control so much of XRP. That's just not, uh, you know, that, that can't be decentralized because they control so much of it. Well, Guess what, folks? Satoshi Nakamoto 
controls a lot of Bitcoin. He controls enough to move markets. And so that's a question to any Bitcoin person who wants to be all arrogant about how decentralized Bitcoin is. Satoshi Nakamoto has a whole lot of Bitcoin. In fact, there, a, a large percentage of Bitcoin is controlled by four or five people. Uh, one being the Winklevoss brothers, one being um, Tim Draper. Um, I, I can't think of the other names off the top of my head, but there are a handful of people that control a lot of Bitcoin, as in control a lot, lot. So um, that argument is ridiculous. And that's why I don't understand. That's why I'm going to tweet Mark Yusko and Anthony, Anthony Pompliano, who, again, I respect those guys. I, I think they're great for the industry, but they're dead wrong on XRP. And I don't understand why, because they're not dumb guys. Um, okay. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and join in my in on my tweets that are about to go in on Elon Musk and to Yusko and Pompliano. Let's get to the bottom of this. But Craig Wright, oh, the guy is just so pompous. It's just disgusting if you, to listen to the guy. So go watch that video if you want to be disgusted. <laughs> Thank you for listening.